What's going on everybody? My name is Abby and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to utilize the Riverside.fm website. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Abby like I said before and I'm a digital media strategist who's been using Riverside.fm to also run my podcast that's named Modern Day Unicorns. I love the platform. It's been great for me to be able to capture the visuals for my podcast and also, you know, be able to get sound quality to extract the audio to post on my various platforms as well. So without further ado, let me take you through how to use Riverside. Well, first of all, Riverside.fm, there is, of course, the, the website that you can go to explains about, you know, who they are and, you know, what they do, some of the big partners that they work with also distinguishes some of the great quality differences between uh, Zoom and Riverside. Um, so, you know, there's a bunch of information here. You can go there and check that out. Um, I will go through the pricing a little bit later. I want you all to see all the features first. So uh, once you go there, you'll log in. From the login area, there is um, your studio. So this is my studio. You can create a new studio here which is basically a platform to where you're going to host certain things. So for instance, uh, my studios, I have my live studio where I will go live and have all of my settings specified for me going live. And then I have my Abby Teaching Kafar virtual interview, which is where I do the modern day unicorns interviews. And I have my settings set up for there and how I want things set up. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to start a new studio, you put in your name, audio or video only. Like I said, a lot of people use this for podcasts as well. So if you want an only audio, you have that ability to have that option. Okay, so let me um, let's navigate through here a little bit more and then I'll take you into a specific studio. So you see you have uh, my my studios named here. The last time I entered into it, depending on the plan that you have, this will kind of show you the hours that you've already recorded so you can have an idea of what you have left. They're also an affiliate program, which is wonderful for you to have the opportunity to earn a commission on referring other people to come and become, uh, become an affiliate. And then there's also a Facebook community. All right. So when you go to the Facebook community, it's um, also a great place to have uh, other like minded individuals. It's called Conversations Creators by Riverside the FM. And there's lots of different announcements and ways for you to join um, and ask questions that you may have. OK, I have I have access to another web browser, but either way, they have a community. It's over three thousand members right now of individuals who have been utilizing the platform and taking care of the perks. And Riverside has been also upgrading their system a ton since I've joined. I've been in less than a year and they've updated it at least, you know, four or five times. So that's great. Anywho, let's move forward into going into um, a studio. Let's check out my live studio. All right. And so um, what we have here is just some former conversations that I've had that's been archived. We'll be able to see more in my other studio. But there is this is like the backstage of the studio. So when I go into the actual studio, the area where we get to record um, things. So you see here, right? Um, you put your name here. If you're using headphones, it's always advisable to use headphones so you can, you know, reduce any of the background noise that you have. You can choose the microphone that you're using, whether you're using um, the microphone from your computer. Um, if you have a, a external microphone that you can plug in or some headphones, you can you make those choices there. You can choose your camera and also if you have headphones on um, but if you're saying you're not using headphones what it will do is reduce the background noise so you join the studio oh, listen, I'm not using headphones at the moment we join the studio um, and then so this is clearly you and you can invite your guest there's a couple different ways to invite your guest but if you go straight to the studio you can invite your guest right here you can just copy the link and send it to the individual so that they can join in right here so you can get a link or you can invite them by email a couple of cool things that you can do is that if you want a guest to come into the studio to record with you, that is the feature for the guest. OK, if you want an audience member, somebody who is just on looking, it's almost like a live experience where they're just looking from the back end, but they are not participating in, a, in the conversation and they cannot be seen or heard. There's that. Then there's the producer. Uh, somebody who is going to run the back end of all of these different controls and not be also seen or heard, but be able to, you know, change different levels or make sure everything is running smooth on the back end. OK, so that's uh, some ways to do that, which is pretty great. So let's run through here. You have the opportunity to ch um, name your recording. 
okay you can see how you're recording so this is um, my basic you know studio setup so I have 720 quality if I were to plug in my camera I can get 1080 P. This is a web platform. It's telling me all of the things that I have hooked up here. Um, I can turn echo cancellation off. Um, so if I turn it off, it's because uh, maybe I do have on headphones. So if I turn it on, it's because I don't have on headphones. All right. And just take notice of that to preview your recording. So you see here in this box, this is not showing everything that I have going on. All right. So if I just needed to make sure that my background was clear, there was nothing super distracting like the thing behind me right now. I can just preview it and just see everything that is in my frame and be able to modify that as needed. OK, so you can close that and then your guests, their information will be here, too, as well as their levels. If they were too loud, you can turn it down and control it from there. If you needed to mute yourself, if you need to mute them. You can do that here as well. Let me see this. I haven't seen. That. OK, so that's another way you can enlarge to just make sure everything is seen. And I believe you can do that for the guest as well. All right, so that is that portion. There is the media tab. The media tab gives you an opportunity to insert some sounds. And even if you wanted to upload your own sound, you can have that um, a way of just, you know, presenting like a live show. Let's see, like a drum roll. This is just a preview it. Okay, so you can have those sounds and things like that throughout it if you wanted to create a transition. And this is the preview, but if it was live, it would be a part of your recordings. Okay, um, so there's things of that nature. I'm sure they have. They're going to continue to add things. But if you had your own custom intro or music that you wanted to add, you have the opportunity to do that here. There is a chat room to where you can chat with the Riverside individuals um, if they're available. And then also I use it as a great place to tell my um, my guests that, you know, if they can't hear or see me at any point in time, just to go ahead and finish their thought and then um, type me a message in the chat box so that we, I can figure out what's going on. OK, so for any troubleshooting. I feel like it's, it's great to advise individuals of that or maybe if you have multiple guests and you want to give them a heads up on when you're going to ask them a question or when it's their turn to speak, you have that. OK, so um, here let's go to settings. OK, settings, settings. We have lots of settings. We've seen these settings before, which is great. Um, echo cancellation, mirror video, um, your name. There's the general tab. Uh, this is the studio that we're in. This is a public studio. There's a waiting room option. You turn this on this means that when your guests come they will be put in a waiting room and then you can invite them in or they can just join in at any particular time um the waiting room i hope it's improved i've had some issues with it in the past so i just turn it off because sometimes my guests were having uh, trouble entering in to um, my studio um and then there's the live call i haven't used a live call yet but you know i might experiment with it in um, in the future um so there's recording okay so uh, like we said earlier we saw this um in the main dashboard there's audio and video and then audio only i use always audio and video and then there is the recording quality of 1080p you also have the option of 4k 1080p is is wonderful and I don't necessarily have a need to have 4k for situations like this and then uh, separate tracks for internet recordings um, you can play around with this if you like um, but I, I like to have separate tracks I'll probably have this on in my other studio to be honest but I love having separate tracks so that I have the opportunity to edit things a little bit further all right and then you have the sample bit rate I leave this kind of like alone noise suppression is always pretty good um, for situations like this then there's a the live stream oh. okay so then there's a the live stream. Um, clearly, I have this out so that you all don't have the opportunity to steal my stream key. But you can go live on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, which is great, or even your custom link if you had a website or something that you wanted to go live in. OK, and then advanced. I just leave this kind of alone, but it's there. This is also a place where you can delete the studio if you wanted to create something new. So there are the settings, the, the things that you can get a little bit more in depth on and what you want to turn out. So we have record. So what happens when you record is basically it gives you a countdown. It's great. So oh, this is actually going to go live too. <laughs> but a four, three, two, one. Um, you can your guest has a countdown. You have a countdown, and then now this should be streaming to my YouTube channel. Um, oh, another cool thing. Um, so you have your mics here. You can turn it all and off. Your cameras on and off. Your speaker. Uh, same thing here. You can share your screen. OK, it's pretty similar to you can choose the screen that you want to share. Um, 
and then uh, we'll go through this here. This is a, a whole nother system. But look here, it says uploading. So one of the things that I enjoy about Riverside is that it records locally to the computer for yourself and your guest so that you don't get those glitches and those, you know, that bad audio because it puts everything on their computer and it uploads it to the system. So as I press stop here, it will tell me when my recording is uploaded fully to um, the cloud of Riverside.fm so that I have clean, you know, visuals and clean audio. So uh, typically what I tell my guests is, you know, if we're not chatting a little bit after the show, is that please leave this, you know, leave this browser open so it can finish completing. As you saw there, you had the little confetti. And um, so that means that it's uploaded to the platform and it will continue to process on the other side.